Wanting willpower. How can I Okay, okay. Then let's bring you up to speed. We've searched everywhere and found nothing unusual at all. Based on the previous two mirages, we should have been able to find something that acts as an entrance. Is it possible that the time has not come yet? You mean we should wait a little longer? Yes. Plus, Fischl is still nowhere to be found, and I highly suspect that she's even more eager to find the entrance than we are. So, let's wait. Let's give the mirage... No. Give Fischl some more time. There's something on the beach! A book. And next to it is... Hmm? A raven statue? This statue looks a lot like Oz! Why do these two items appear together? Did the raven bring the book here? What's the book about? Is it a diary? Let's see... Hymn of the Holy Land. I... I've never heard of a book by that title. From the cover, it looks like it was written by Fischl herself? That would certainly fit her personality. Hymn of the Holy Land. Interesting. I like it. As a title, it has a sacred ring to it. What should we do? Should we touch it? Fischl's still not back. Never mind. Let's head inside first. Once Fischl finds the book, I'm sure she'll be able to catch up with us. Paimon agrees! It's like we're peeping into her diary, so Paimon's sure she'll want to come in and stop us. Though this truth has long faded from popular memory, scholars have long known that Prinzessin Fischl von Luftschloss Norfedort first descended upon the world during the time of chaos, roughly 600 years before the era of the saints. What? A narrator? <laughs> we really are inside a book, huh? There's even a narrator telling us the story. Oh no! The path has been cut off! We can't go across! Oh, there's a device over there that appears to be waiting for us to approach it. Is it just Paimon? Or does everything in this place seem just a little bit over-deliberate? Well, it is the Holy Land. What did you expect? Yeah, everything's so blatant. It's clearly begging to be noticed. That's our official for you. The Princessin harbored much sympathy for all living things and wished to never see them in pain. She harnessed the power of darkness and dreams to weave... ...the night and gave it the task The people celebrated and worshipped the princess's authority and followed her call to migrate to the sacred land that would eventually be known as the Immer Nachtreich. Quite impressed.
More speed. More speed. We established a nation on the Holy Land, revered the Princessen as the Absolute One, and introduced poetry, theater, and adventure to the kingdom, laying the groundwork for the Inner Nachtreich.
When the rain finally ceased, the princessin descended from the palace steps as to allow all her retainers to behold her unparalleled glory. Please help me! Uh, isn't this a statue? Please don't refer to me like that. My name is Leon, and I am a knight of the Immanoctrag. A knight? But you don't look like one. You can't tell. Anyway, please don't speak ill of Sire Osvaldo. He personally designed and distributed the armor for Denoctraben Ritter. Well, you must have heard that one before, surely. That was his full name, Osvaldo Hofnavines. Uh, oh, so Magistus was the easy pronunciation. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> or so it seems. Dear friends, I apologize for interrupting your lovely conversation, but I believe you haven't been informed that the gate ahead has been locked. Yep, that's news to us. I'm hoping you'll be kind enough to save me. And in exchange, I'll gladly teach you how to unlock the gate. Well, I guess we'll have to save you then.
valiant heroes. No words can express how grateful I feel right now. Thank you. Ver Remember, this is the password that unlocks the gate. May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. Great Secretaire, the Lords, and the devoted Nachraben Ritter mounted the tower to pledge their allegiance to the Princessen, kissing the hem of her exquisite purple dress and taking pride in their loyalty. is the story from the book? So the Holy Land in the book's title refers to the Immanachreich. This book sings the praises of the princess from the perspective of the people in her kingdom. We're on the last page of the book, but the story doesn't seem to have ended. What happens next? Paima wants to know what happens next! I guess we'll have to keep exploring. As for this book... Wait, I have an idea. Now that we've finished it, let's close it. Huh? We've been transported again, but we're not back on the beach. We are somewhere in... Mondstadt. Greetings, Honorable Kaiserin Dover Ertelung. Amy, dear, I've made steak and fisherman's toast. Come on, eat up before they go cold. Uh, mother... Oh, look at me being so forgetful. Ahem. Dost thou knowest, Princess in Verurtalang, that the hour of luncheon encroaches? Of course, mother. Ah, behold the view from the window, a delight to the senses. Princessin, Kaiserin, would you care to join the Kaiser Derva Utailung for a grand royal picnic? We shall enjoy the scenic view and partake of the delicacies granted to us by the heavens. Yes, I shall gladly join you. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, 
Does anyone want to say anything about that? Okay, I'll bite. So, Amy, that's Fischl's real name? Seems like it. The other two voices were probably her mom and dad. Why are you all giving me that look? Forgive me if this comes across as rude, but is your surname truly Magistus? Huh, you think I was bluffing? My full title is and always has been Mona Magistus the Astrologist. Oh, my apologies. Don't you think that's a bit long? Well, it's a special case. Only geniuses get titles like this. Well, that makes no sense. What are your thoughts on the scenes we just witnessed? Well, it seems that closing the book is one way of affecting change in this mirage. Well, I think it's sweet that Fischl's parents are willing to play along with her. Well, they probably didn't indulge her forever. Based on the voice, this was surely a memory from her childhood. It's a different story now she's grown up. You know a lot about Fischl, Mona. After all, we've been friends for quite a while. Speaking of... I wonder where Fischl is now. That voice mentioned that she was heading out. We may as well go outside and see if we can find anything. tutorial or realizing you've forgotten your wallet in the middle of dinner. Uh, uh, this is torture. I think they're a little bit upset. To be honest, I also don't like to read books that end on an unexpected cliffhanger. <laughs> no one likes that. <laughs> All right, let's enter the mirage again. Good idea! Let's go! We're still here. It's not working. That's odd. We were able to enter earlier, but now we can't. Why? Why are we being denied the opportunity to finish the book? This is pure sadism. Hmm. Maybe it's because we've already reached the end of this book. Before leaving the Mirage, we saw that the book had been flipped to the final page. I believe Hymn of the Holy Land is divided into multiple volumes. It's like one of those sneaky light novel marketing schemes. If you want to know what happens next, please buy the next volume. Uh, I have to see the ending. Oh, oh, y yes, the ending. Everyone wants to know how the book ends. Huh? Who's there? Oh, oh, sh heavens above, she saw me. Stand up straight, stand up straight. You're... I'm Ask Me For Directions, Arnold. That name's a little on the nose. So, Arnold, let me ask you something. It's Ask Me For Directions, Arnold. So, Ask Me For Directions, Arnold, let me ask you something. Yes, ma'am. Are there other volumes of Hymn of the Holy Land? Where can I find them? Oh, ho, ho. you're asking the right person. Hymn of the Holy Land is the sacred scripture of the Immernach Reich. There are three volumes in total, with the other two stored in two high locations in the castle. If you wish to find the second volume, you must climb to the very top floor of the tower. Tower? You mean that tower over there? That is, indeed, the tower where the sacred scripture is stored. If you look closely to the cave right over there, you'll find a secret passage that will swiftly take you to the tower. Okay. Thank you, Arnold. It's Ask Me For Directions, Arnold. Do you have any other questions for me, Fair Maiden, concerning, perhaps, 
My relationship status or monthly income? No. Goodbye. Let's ignore that, Raven, and proceed. There's a secret passage in the cave ahead that leads directly to the top of the tower. Oh, oh, but, ma'am, are you sure you're not interested in me? I only shared with you the secrets of the Immanachrish because of your great beauty. Ma'am, wait. here. Be faster.
Hey, stop! Who are you? You don't look like citizens of the Immanacht Reich. Explain yourselves. What's your purpose here? This place even comes with guards! How can you prove that you are Her Highness's retainers? Huh. Such an absurd question betrays your ignorance. May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. Th that's the password of the Immanacht Reich. They really are Her Highness's retainers. Oh my goodness, we didn't know. Please forgive us. Now step down! Y yes, we're leaving now. This is the second volume of Hymn of the Holy Land. Everyone ready? Bring it on! However, the Immer Nachtreich soon became plagued by a perpetual nightmare. Tasrak, the wicked dragon, infiltrated the subterranean crossed the bottom of the sea, and eventually came to roam above the capital. Huh? A dragon? The only thing I notice is gloomy weather. Could the dragon be some kind of metaphor? If that's so, her arch nemesis Tasrak, the wicked dragon, is made up of everything that opposes her and rejects her fantasies. Knowing their peril, the people prayed to the Soteria. More speed. Yeah. Crush! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More 
speed. through the darkness. Pave the way for thy princessin with the truth thine eyes behold. All that is lowly escapes my gaze. It is but a mere illusion. Is this to say that a flaw unseen is a flaw that does not exist, main...
the princessin descended to confront the dragon, but the great battle was certain to damage the castle.
Finally, she pierced through the dragon's scales with thundering retribution and spoke to all amid a downpour of the dragon's blood. She said, Help me! Somebody, please! Ah, we just got to the interesting part! What did the princessin say? That voice sounds familiar. Is it that not Raven Ritter fella again? Goodness. Huh? What are you guys doing here? We should be the ones asking that. What are you doing here?
More speed. I'm sorry you have to keep seeing me in such a wretched state. I suppose I'm still not good enough to play the role of a qualified Nocturne Ritter. Play the role? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm not a real knight. Rather, I'm a new actor who recently landed a job to play the role of a knight in a theater troupe. That's not really something to be smug about. Ah, well you see, that's where you're mistaken. Theater is an essential part of Imenoctorag's culture. 
A fantastic theatrical performance is the greatest tribute we can pay to Her Highness. Oh, so this is your local culture? Exactly. So I'm delighted that I got to play the knight. Why does the princess enjoy the theater so much? Her Highness once said, Celebrate me by staging a play in the wilderness. Bow down to me and bring me beautiful dreams in return for everlasting glory within the eternal darkness. I believe it is because Her Highness appreciates true art and can also sense emotions hidden deep within the souls of humankind. The crystallization and sublime expression of emotion is the heart of theater. People who truly understand theater always have a beautiful, sensitive heart filled with a rich array of emotion. Oh, so that's how it is. Thank you for your answer, Sir Knight. Uh, oh, th thank you so much for calling me a knight. <clears throat> so, basking still in this honor, I will be off to my battleground. May we meet again. Hopefully not. Be more careful in the future. Oh, and please remember the password to unlock the gate. Upon my command, spread your wings and take flight. as a festival in the Imanakreish, and I hope you can both spare some time. <sighs> Amy, come on now, darling. You can't be carrying on like that at this age. You're a big girl now. It's time to forget the fairy tales. Uh, but... Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I've bought you a new set of music course books. Give them a read, won't you? You should dedicate your time to something more... meaningful. Oh. Uh, okay, Mom. I, um... I understand. We're back again! I believe we have just witnessed the true nature of the Wicked Dragon. This is something I am all too familiar with. There are always people who believe that our passions are a waste of time. Huh? You're... Ask me for directions, Arnold. Uh, I mean, you're back. Oh, but I came because I bet you'd be looking for the third volume of Hymn of the Holy Land. You bet right on that front. You need not do anything for me, my dear lady. The opportunity to behold your beauty is the finest reward I could ask for. I shall give you the answer you seek. The third volume of Hymn of the Holy Land can be found on the top floor of the royal castle. Is it guarded by anyone? Oh, 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 oh. but of course, sir. What sort of question is that? No nation would treat its most treasured books as if they were just cast out into the wilderness. That means we will still find Nachtraben Guard stationed there. It is a citizen's utmost honor to guard the sacred scriptures. But it matters not. I'm quite sure the fine lady merely seeks to peruse them and has no malicious intentions. Your face is captivating and full of wisdom and the company you keep appears to be heroes of some renown, I have the utmost faith that you will be able to comprehend the meaning behind the stories in our sacred scriptures. Her Highness's accomplishments were documented by Oz, the great secretaire, and became great treasures of the Immernachreich. I wish Her Highness joy and happiness every time I read those books. <laughs>
Stop! It's you guys again. What's your problem? We're the Princessin's personal retainers. Cut the lies! Her Highness doesn't keep company with nobodies like you. Oh, really? Are you prepared to take responsibility for what you just said? I'll say it again. Her Highness doesn't keep company with... Who are these nobodies you speak of? Her Highness and Sir Oz! I must say, guards, it's immensely disrespectful of you to make such remarks to the retainers of the Imanakreich. <sighs> How dare you treat one's hand-picked retainers with such disdain! Be gone! But... Don't you but me! Y yes your Highness. Official! Eyes! You're back in the crew! Hmm. You may consider that the case for the time- What main Fräulein means is that it took us a long time to reach this place. She couldn't bear to leave you all here, even though she did not wish to confront this mirage. Didn't want to confront it, huh? <sighs> Sounds like Mona was right. It felt like we were peeking into your diary. Nonsense. Despite the existing threats, the unrivaled glory of the Imanachreich would not exist in this world if I, the Princessin, were the sort of person who could be easily swayed. What Main Fräulein means to say is that there are other troubles in this area. Troubles? Have you run into anything dangerous? Um, this matter can be revisited later. For now, let us proceed with more important work. Let's get this show on the road. The book's right in front of us. Let's not... Hmm. Majestic, but fragile. Vast, yet vulnerable. This domain both amazes and sickens me. She means that she has never seen such an extravagant mirage before, and even she is enthralled by it.
fishel here, but some parts seem to be missing. Fischl, is this yours? Um, allow me a moment to reminisce. Main Fräulein, you may recall that this is the toy castle you accidentally destroyed in a moment of deep distress. Oz, don't say it out loud. I suddenly recollect that two pieces are currently missing from my royal domain. So we have to find two missing pieces. Spoke amid a downpour of the dragon's blood. She said, May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. Such wise and compassionate words could only come from your own... appears to be anything but what I've described. The shadow's lurking but Princess and Fischl again continued her song, and the interwoven chords of her sacred words became the Immernachtreich's hymn. Crush! to the core! I condemn you!
speed. For mercy. More speed. More speed.
More speed. More speed. When the people worshipped her, she replied, Celebrate me by staging a play in the wilderness. Bow down to me and bring me beautiful dreams in return for everlasting glory within the eternal darkness. Take it easy.
She picked up mere stones to carve out mountains and oceans before bestowing upon her people castles and towns. My magnificent kingdom is a small and forbidden paradise. That sounds like a happy ending to Paimon. Don't say that. I can assure you that this will definitely be the last time.
More speed. Fella, if you want to survive and thrive, you should be more careful next time. A successful journey requires perseverance, courage, as well as a keen sense of danger. You have the first two, but in the future, please strive to be more vigilant. I shall remember your words for the rest of my life, but... It is time to say our final goodbye. You may not have noticed, but the weather has improved, and the sea has become pleasant and calm. We have awaited this day for a long time. You may be amazed that someone as reckless as me could become an actor, but please believe me when I say it's not by chance. Every knocked raven is looking for a way to contribute to the world. We just want to find our place, our destiny, we were born to seek the roles that fate has assigned us to play. You may not be aware that Hymn of the Holy Land is also a book of prophecies. Prophecy? But Paimon thought it was a sacred scripture. Yes, it is. Hundreds of years ago, the Imanacht Reich was engulfed by a menacing shadow. But our ruler stood by and did nothing, as if she had lost interest in ruling the kingdom. Soon after, Oz, the great secretaire, appeared among us. He brought us the sacred scriptures and a most encouraging prophecy. That prophecy is just as it's described in the book and predicts a blessed future for the Imanacht Reich. As a result, we became convinced that the gloomy skies would eventually clear and we have been eagerly awaiting for that blessed day. The Soteria, the Princess and Verurteilung. She will eventually remember the paradise of the Imernacht Reich. And on that day, we will devote to her the plays that were promised in the prophecy. That is why I have stepped forward to take on the role of a warrior. I do whatever it takes to prove my devotion to her. <clears throat> you, 
Your Highness! Oh, right! Yeah, she was lurking in the back when we rescued you for some reason. My citizen, thy will is strong enough to sunder the wicked dragon's wings. I shall now receive thy blessing. It is my utmost honor. Thou hast done well. Tis almost most evident that thou dost possess the virtues of a knight. Go, take thy position, and wait for the performance to begin. We commend your unfaltering loyalty to Her Highness. Her Highness will now lead her retainers into battle against the shadow that plagues the Imanakreish. Thank you, Your Highness. And thank you, everyone. In that case, I will take my leave. Oh, by the way, please keep in mind that the password for the gate ahead is... Zian. Mein Somme Nachtgarten. Paimon's confused. What were you guys role-playing just now? <sighs> Is there not a single one of my lords and ladies who understood my precepts? Fools. What Main Fräulein means to say is that you are all rather stupid. Yeah, you didn't need to translate that. I suppose this is the important business Her Highness warned us about earlier. Let's get this over with. Huh? Wait, what is it? What's happening? <laughs> More speed. Mind Summer Not Garden. There's the book! Let's go and close it! Let's hope we won't get transported to another strange place this Library? Why are we inside a library? <sighs> You must be the arch nemesis I've been looking for. The useless and cowardly so-called princessin. <laughs> How laughable. What gives you the impression that you can defeat me? You should know over the past few days, I've seen all of your fear and trepidation. Why is there another you? Shadow. Yes. I suppose that probably describes our connection aptly enough. <laughs> So have you come to surrender to me, little Amy? <sighs> you! Mm. And that raven over there. You must be Oz. Excellent. I have been waiting for you for a long time. I heard that a great secretary named Oz brought the hymn of the Holy Land into the Imanakreish. I suppose that was you? At your service, Main Fräulein. Why did you call her Main Fräulein? As you can see, that's also Main Fräulein over there. And if she is Main Fräulein, then does that not make her my master? Seems logical enough. <laughs> I might as well inform you that the Imanakreish is a place with no way out. Now that you've made it here, I shall crush you and make you my servant! As for Oz, despite bringing over that hideous book of prophecies and causing the foolish citizens to fall to their knees worshipping that piece of nonsense. Why don't you come over to my side? After all, Fischl is destined to team up with Oz. Main Fräulein flatters me. I see no reason to refuse. Oz? Where do you think you're going? Oh. Actually going over to the other side. Fischl, haven't you taught your raven anything of- oh, This is not the time to discuss my shortcomings! Have you been bewitched, Oz? Why should you trust that she's telling the truth? Is not the Imanakreish a sacred land of liberty and theater? You are gravely mistaken if you presume the Imanakreish to be some kind of amusement park. Listen closely. It is a tomb for those who cannot face reality. You will be buried here. 
And I will take Oz, the product of our imagination, and live forever in the royal castle. <sighs> a tomb? You of all people should know about this. Why does it always rain in the Imanach Reich? Why isn't there any music in this so-called paradise? Because of you! It's all because of you! <laughs> How pathetic! No, dearest Amy, you, not I, are the one responsible for all of this. <laughs> you dreamed up a vast kingdom, but you can't bear its weight. Swayed by fear, you can't face the very world you've created. I came here in your stead precisely because you failed to show up. The Imanok Reich is now mine, and it is not your place to tell me what to do. I... 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 Amy, you are but a weak fool who does not deserve this world. Be gone. Hey, are you done? For you to give yourself such a piece of your mind. It must have been bothering you for a long time. <laughs> Luna... <laughs> What's that look on your... <laughs> I... I... Oh, you're not going to admit defeat, are <laughs> I hate to admit it, but... <laughs> she might be right. No. Please, do not think that. Your Highness... Do you still remember why we came here? Kazuha? I am a samurai from Inazuma who's been entrusted with your safety. These individuals also responded to your call. Having your own tomb does sound pretty cool, but the Imanak Reich is not a tomb. <gasps> Shenyan! Oh, so you've made some friends. But do you really think that's enough for you to defeat me? I am your fear, your dark side. I am the nightmare from which you have never escaped in all these years. Standing before me, you are nothing! <laughs> no, I can't. I... I can't lose. I will be the one to claim victory. Just you wait. I will make you regret everything! Take it one step at a time, and don't rush. You can win as long as you maintain a level head.
Time to go. I'm going to lose. You! You looked down on me. You thought I was a worthless coward. And yes, I did used to be like that because I am someone who can't face reality, who spends all day daydreaming and can't cope with setbacks or critic. But now I understand. I understood as soon as I first laid my eyes on this mirage. Do you see that incredible world out there? So vast, so breathtaking. That is my imagination. The source of my power. You act so arrogant under that dark cloak of self-obsession. But that's not your true nature. You're no princessin. You're just a narcissistic speck of dust hiding in my shadow. You are the true loser, the one who's holding me back. <laughs> you hide your fear and cowardice behind a facade of thorns and self-loathing. You are far weaker than me. Now give it back. What? Return to me what is rightfully mine. The Amanach Reich, the castle, my people. And most importantly, my companion Oz. Oh, main Fräulein, you speak with such eloquence and vigor now. You've truly matured into the princessin. You've got some nerve opening your beak, traitor. No, main Fräulein, I've come here to prove something to you all. 
As we all know, Oz will always follow Fischl, the Princess Endeavor Ertelung. It should make no difference whose side I am on, because you're both Fischl. But consider this. When I switch sides, you did not lose your identity, did you? Indeed. These are words of wisdom. What do you mean, my identity? Whom do you suppose Fischl truly is? Huh? This is my question to you, main Fräulein. Fischl is... She's a loser! A coward who refuses to confront her true self behind the fantasies and lies! No, you are wrong. Fischl... is... me? Ah, you caught on most rapidly. Huh? That's it? Indeed, main Fräulein. Fischl is sometimes the Princess Endeavor Ertelung, and other times not. She may be courageous and arrogant, but she may also be weak and cowardly. Fischl is you, both noble and humble. She is a first-rate adventurer with few friends and the Princess Endeavor Ertelung, the sovereign of the Immunachreich. Fischl is both timid and strong. She's afraid of others' gossip, yet yearns for their respect. Most importantly, Fischl is often self-deprecating, beating herself up countless times, yet she always finds a way to rise again. Main Fräulein, no one merits the name Fischl more than you do. It's a complex yet simple name that represents the beauty of dreams and liberty. With or without loyal admirers, Amy will always be Fischl. You are Fischl. The Enlightened One, who has always carried that belief in her heart. May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees! Thank you for creating the Immanachreich and giving us a homeland. For authoring the hymn of the Holy Land in your subconscious, which offered us hope for a bright future. Please, embrace your darkness and return to your true form, your highness. <sighs> Woo! Fancy just Fischl Van Shadow seems to have returned to Fischl's heart, where it belongs. <laughs> Everyone, lend me your ears. There she is. <laughs> Citizens of the Emanachreich, do you hear my summons? Yes, your high- oh, There she goes again. I am so done with this. Oz speaks the words of truth. Today is a grand occasion, for it is the day that I seize back my heart and reclaim control of my kingdom. Welcome to the Emanachreich! Yay! One stormy night, a girl found a way to the future in the library. She said to herself, I shall create my dream kingdom. I'll carve mountains and oceans and erect castles and towns. Then she spoke to those who shared her dream. Please be proud of all that is unreal, for we are greater than this world. For our magnificent kingdom is a small and forbidden paradise! <sighs> what a wonderful day. I reclaimed my heart and became the true princess and of Ertelung. The Emanachreich really appeared. Even so, I know that all the negative emotion I've been harboring in my heart will not simply go away. And that's okay. I'll carry these imperfections with me as I fight on. Because I now know that what I have is unique and wonderful. Fischl, the stage is all set up outside. Wanna go check it out? Lady Paimon, do watch your words. Oh! Would 
Wouldst thou care to venture outdoors and uh, check its stuff out? <clears throat> How dare you, retainer of mine, mock the great and dignified Princess Endeavor Ertalung? <laughs> I concur. <clears throat> now, let us rejoice and celebrate this historic moment for. Oh, what Main Fräulein means is that. She entreats you to celebrate the arrival of the Imanakreish. All right, all right, we get it. Please don't translate her words back into official speak. Uh, watching a theater performance in a nation like this must be quite an experience. As for the puzzle I'm working on, I should have an answer soon. Oh, there's something we've got to do. Your Highness, Oz, please excuse us for a moment. Very well. See you soon. Come on, let's try to contact Venti again. Oh, it's you. Huh? That isn't the tone deaf board. You're right, we've never met before. I know you want to communicate with someone beyond the islands, but you can't do that right now. So, I cut off your connection. Huh? Wouldn't you rather find out the answer for yourself than ask someone else? The fantastic mirage represents the deep dream, the most fundamental reflection of the human heart. Go see for yourself. Witness everything with your own eyes. And when this is all over, tell me what you feel about it. Who the heck was that? Oh, this is weird. How was she able to cut off our connection to Venti? And why would she want to know what you feel? <sighs> nope, Paimon doesn't get it. It's kind of eerie, but... But Paimon will protect you. 